everyone, so I'm back today with a video to talk about SPF sun protection, my tips for going out and trying to get tan in the sun and all of that. So to start off with, I'm gonna stress the importance of SPF. I'm, I'm just like that, I am the annoying person that will walk to you and say wear SPF, it's important, blah blah blah. It's boring, we don't want to hear that, but we need to wear SPF. I am like that with my friends when I'm on holidays with them or even just in my garden. I'm always going around with a bottle of SPF trying to make them wear it because it's super important. You only get one skin, it's your largest organ and sun can be very nice for your skin. I mean, it's full of vitamin D, it makes you look tan, healthy, I'm all for that, but I'm also all for protecting your skin, avoiding skin cancer, moles that are changing, and basically just sunburns because those are not enjoyable things. It's very easy and it can be implemented in your routine without even thinking about it. As you can see, I have very fair skin, I have light complexion, and I basically burn in the sun, so for a couple of years, I've started to include SPF on my daily routine. I would say that I wear a proper SPF during spring, summer and fall. In winter, I tend to rely on SPF um, in my makeup or in my moisturizer, for example. But I'm going to talk about that in today's video. I'm going to get started because otherwise this video is going to be crazy long. To start off with, I'm going to talk about face SPF. I know you're wondering why has this girl for face protection. I'm going to tell you all that in just a second. The thing with SPF in your face is that um, even if you don't realize it, your skin and your face gets exposed to the sun. If you're commuting to work, if you're going out for drinks with your friends and it's like 7 p.m., chances are that your skin will end up in the sun. If you have fair skin like me, it's very important to protect it on a daily basis. So you can either rely on the SPF that you have either in your skincare or in your makeup. If you have makeup that has an SPF of 5, it's not really effective, you want to add an SPF. I personally almost always add an SPF just because I have to make sure that my skin is fully protected. During the year, if it's not really sunny, I would use this one from this world. This is the Intransit Skin Defense, this is an SPF 30. This is what I call a city sunblock. This is basically a very liquid SPF, it's very comfortable, it sinks into your skin really quickly, which is like the main thing for me with SPF, I don't want something that's sitting on my skin that feels very greasy. You can apply makeup on top of it, it's just wonderful. You can reapply it through the day if you feel like you need to. This is easy to throw into your suitcase, into your handbag, comes with a pump, really, really easy. I absolutely adore that. If it's very, very sunny outside, I would wear an SPF 50. For example, today it's 30 degrees outside super sunny, I'm going out for dinner tonight, even if I'm going out at like 6 or 7, I will wear an SPF. The only exception to that is if you're going out at night and you know you're gonna have your photo taken because if someone takes a photo of you with a flash, with you wearing the SPF, you're gonna end up with this white cast all over your face. However, you should put your health first, but if you're going to like a black tie event, you know you have your picture taken, don't wear SPF and make sure that you don't have the SPF in your foundation, in your face powder or something like that because it will turn into a disaster. But this is the SPF 50 that I'm currently using. This is the Bioderma Photoderm Max SPF 50 Plus. Just like this, this work one, very liquid, very fluid, really comfortable on the skin. Don't smell like sunscreen, which is really important. If I'm going to the beach, if I'm going on the boat, if I know I'm gonna be basically sunbathing or having a lot of sun on my skin, I would wear um, a traditional SPF. The one that I really like is the Clarence SPF 30 um, Sun Wrinkle Control Cream for Face. As the name says, this is a cream. It's very much more moisturizing than a fluid, but this is something that you need to wear if you're going to the beach or the pool or something like that. Really like the Clarence SPF, highly recommend those. If you're worrying about your tan, this is something new from Bioderm as well. This is a Photoderm Bronze SPF 30. It is supposed to help you tan. Haven't seen a difference just yet because I only used it a couple of times, but that goes to say that you can still tan and wear an SPF in the same time. Just make sure to pick the right one for you. If you have dry skin, go for something very moisturizing. If you have sensitive skin, this one is great for sensitive skin. 
just look for that on the packaging. If you have acne prone skin, go for something a little bit lighter like a fluid. It's going to be wonderful for you. Now we're going to move on to body SPF. And believe it or not, I keep my SPF in this Sintrape uh, pouch I got as a gift with purchase. I have a ton of them just because um, I'm kind of paranoid about the sun really. So the first thing that I want to talk about are the Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Body Mist. I have the Broad Spectrum 30 and the 100. I didn't even know that this existed. This is an early gun. I bought that last year in Florida. If you're somewhere really hot, really sunny and you're going on boats a lot, this is something that I would recommend. The SPF 100, it's great if you're going like uh, water skiing, if you're snorkeling, if you're going, I don't know, on like a sailing boat or something like that. This is great and those Neutrogena spray, spray are just amazing because they're really lightweight, they're not sticky, they don't make your hands sticky because you just spray them on. It's great if you're going to the beach by yourself as well because you can apply it on your back, you don't have to ask someone that you've never met to rub your back. This is just great, highly recommend this. I have the SPF 30, this is great if you're going, this is something that I usually pop in my bag if I'm going shopping for the day, it's very sunny, I don't want to wear like a milk or a foam or something like that. Just pop that in my bag, spray it onto my legs and arms and I'm good to go really, really like these. If you can't find the Neutrogena one, I also love the Hawaiian Tropic Silk Hydration. This is an SPF 15. This is great for spring or fall, or if you're just going out in the sun for like 10, 15, 30 minutes, this is great. And if you hate the scent of sunscreen, this is the one that you want to get because everyone around me that keeps smelling that is like amazed by the scent. It smells like coconut and vanilla. This is just wonderful. I totally love this product. If you don't really like uh, milk, I personally don't really like, like this is the Nivea Sun SPF 30 um, protective milk. I'm not really into this kind of thing. I know my boyfriends like it, so I always keep one, but I'm not really into those milk thing either for face or body. I'm not really onto that. Lastly, if you don't like milk, if you don't like foams, if you don't like sprays, oils are the way to go. This one is Nivea Sun Protect and Bronze SPF. 30. So if you want to make sure that you can bronze and have a tan and something like that, this is something to look into. But my personal favorite this year is the Ducleo SPF 30 Aroma Sun Expert. This is the summer oil and you can apply it on your hair. I haven't tried this yet, but on the body it's just incredible. It smells amazing. Just like all Ducleo products, this doesn't smell like sunscreen at all. The bowl is great as well. It goes onto your skin smoothly. It's very nourishing because this is an oil. This is something that I would only recommend if you're planning to um, just lay down in the sun. This is not great if you're going shopping or if you're going to be really active because this is annoying and it can like stick onto your body to be honest. But this is great if you plan to like lay by the pool or something like that. In my summer edit video, I mentioned this product. This is a Kerasta Soleil Micro Voile Protector. This is basically a mist that you apply onto your hair to protect them further from the sun. Um, every time I protect my hair from the sun, people stare at me like, what the hell is she doing? But it's really important because the sun can damage your hair. It can make it dry, it can change its color, especially if it's colored. I don't color my hair, but I always like to protect it from the sun and I see a real difference. So investing in one of these little sprays is always a good idea. And finally, the last thing I want to talk about is after sun, because after sun is very important. The sun is kind of drying for your skin and although you keep moisturizing your skin with SPF through the day, it's always a good idea to apply some sort of uh, after sun. For example, you come back from the beach, you take a shower, you apply just a tiny bit. It feels amazing, trust me, it's very fresh onto the skin. So these two are for the face. This one is the Bio Beauty by NYX after sun. Facial After Sun 10 Prolonger. Really like this because it has organic and natural ingredients in it. You can get it for a fairly affordable price at the pharmacy. This one is brand new, but I've used this product for years. Absolutely love it. And the other one is again from Bioderma. Bioderma is really great if you have sensitive skin. This is a Photoderm Après Soleil Refreshing After Sun Milk for sensitive skin, as I said. Really love this product. Feels very, very fresh onto the skin. And this is probably my favorite product this year. This is also from Bioderma. This is a Photoderm Après Soleil SOS. This is the Intense Soothing Mist. Yes, it's a mist. Comes with a spray. 
so easy to apply, you have no excuse not to apply it. It's very fun. As I said, it's very fresh. One of my tips that I really like is to put all of your SPF into a pouch. Like, for example, I have this very old pouch that I got at H&M like six years ago. And I always keep some sort of wet wipes into my um, little pouch because sometimes if you apply like a milk or foam, your hands are all sticky afterwards and I hate that feeling. You pick up your book, everything is greasy, you hate that. So sometimes you end up not applying SPF because you don't want your hands to get all greasy. So throw a pack of wet wipes into your pouch. These are from Primark, it's like one euro for two packs. Very, very cheap, very affordable. It will change your life as well. And as far as tip go, don't go into the sun between noon and 4 p.m. if you can. At least try not to lay down for like six hours straight. It's not good for your skin, it's not good for your health. If you really like to go and sun bath for hours, make sure to wear an appropriate SPF. Start with a high SPF at the beginning of your holidays. You can lower it if you want to, but just make sure for the first two days that you apply it really well. If you go swimming, reapply it afterwards and just make that a part of your routine, especially when it comes to your space. It's so easy to implement that into your skincare regimen and it will make a difference on your skin, I can guarantee it. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you're going on holiday anytime soon, don't forget to check out my post that I did last year about holiday beauty packing because I have like a printable PDF checklist so that you never forget anything, especially your SPF. So I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Bye!